Welcome to English with Colleen. This video, Simple Present Tense, Part 2, is about um, the simple present tense for negative statements and questions. It follows the same format as the first video. There will be a lesson and then a quiz at the end. Did you watch Simple Present Tense, Part 1? If not, watch it now and do the quiz at the end of the video. Make sure you fully understand part one before you move on to part two. In my first video, part one, you learned about affirmative statements in the simple present tense. In this video, you will learn about negative statements and questions in the simple present tense. In this video, you will learn rules for making the simple present tense in negative statements and questions and you will also learn more common mistakes with the simple present tense. Just like in my first video, there is a quiz at the end of this video. Listen carefully. Before we get started with negative statements and questions, let's do a little bit of review of affirmative statements. So, do you remember what were the rules for affirmative statements? The rules are simple. Number one, use the base form of the verb. Number two, add S or ES to the base form of the verb with he, she, and it in third person singular. Okay, so you may have forgotten what the base form of the verb is. What is the base form of the verb? The base form of the verb is the infinitive without to. So for the infinitive to like, the base form is like. For the infinitive to watch, the base form is watch. Let's review affirmative statements with the verb to like in the simple present tense. I like ice cream. You like ice cream. He, she, it likes ice cream. We like ice cream. They like ice cream. Let's also review affirmative statements with the verb to be which is very irregular and does not follow um, the regular verb structure. I am a person. You are a person. He, she, it is a person. We are people. They are people. So now we can move on to the rule for negative statements. So for negative statements, add do or does plus not plus the base form of the verb. For example, do not like or does not like. I want you to note that do not use the helping verbs do or does with the verb to be. Here are examples of negative statements with the verb to like in the simple present tense. I do not like ice cream. You do not like ice cream. He, she, it does not like ice cream. We do not like ice cream. They do not like ice cream. Notice that only he, she, and it use the auxiliary verb does. Also note that the verb like remains the same in all negative statements. Here are examples of negative statements with the verb to watch in the simple present tense. I do not watch TV at night. You do not watch TV at night. He, she, it does not watch TV at night. We do not watch TV at night. They do not watch TV at night. I know I've mentioned this before, but it is very important. Remember, there's always that one rule breaker, and that rule breaker is the verb to be. The verb to be does not follow the rules. You have to memorize it. Here are negative statements with the verb to be. I am not a robot. You are not a robot. He, she, it is not a robot. We are not robots. They are not robots. Next, let's look at the rule for questions. So for questions, use do or does plus the subject plus the base form of the verb. For example, do you like? Does he like? Also note, do not use the helping verbs do or does with the verb to be in questions. 
Here are questions with the verb to like in the simple present tense. Do I like ice cream? Do you like ice cream? Does he, she, it like ice cream? Do we like ice cream? Do they like ice cream? Notice that does is used with he, she, and it. Also notice that the verb like stays the same in question form. Here are questions with the verb to watch in the simple present tense. Do I watch TV at night? Do you watch TV at night? Does he, she, or it watch TV at night? Do we watch TV at night? Do they watch TV at night? I know I'm repeating myself here, but I want to make sure you don't forget that the verb to be is a rule breaker, even in questions. So please make note of that. Here are examples of questions with the verb to be in the simple present tense. The verb to be is different from all other verbs. The verb comes first in question four. Am I a robot? Are you a robot? Is he, she, or it a robot? Are we robots? Are they robots? Now we are going to look at mistakes in the simple present tense in negative statements and questions. So mistake number one deals with confusing the rules for affirmative statements and negative statements. So mistake number one is adding S or ES to the base form of the verb in the third person singular, he, she, or it of negative statements. For example, she does not eat breakfast every day. This is a common mistake. The correct forms are either she does not eat breakfast every day or she doesn't eat breakfast every day. The, the next mistake also deals with confusing affirmative statements or the rules for affirmative statements with the rule for questions. So it is also the mistake number two is adding S or ES to the base form of the verb in the third person singular, he, she, it, of questions. So for example, does she eat breakfast every day? Mm, that's a problem. Does she eat breakfast every day? That's correct. Mistake number three is forgetting to use do or does, also known as the auxiliary verb, in negative statements. Let's look at the example. I not like coffee. Incorrect. Your choices are, I do not like coffee or I don't like coffee. Mistake number four is forgetting to use do or does the auxiliary verb in questions. For example, you like coffee? That is not a correct question. Do you like coffee is correct. Mistake number five is using the wrong form of the auxiliary verb do or does in negative statements. For example, she don't like pizza, incorrect. She doesn't like pizza or she does not like pizza. Mistake number six is using the wrong form of do or does, the auxiliary verb, in questions. Do she like pizza is incorrect. Does she like pizza? Mistake number seven, using no in place of do or does plus not in negative statements. Example, they no read books, incorrect. They do not read books or they don't read books. Mistake number eight, using the verb to be, am not, are not, is not, with the base form of the verb in negative sentences. For example, he is not play the piano, incorrect he does not play the piano, or he doesn't play the piano. I hope you've been listening well because here is the quiz. What I'd like you to do is stop the video, take a screenshot of the video, and then you have the quiz. Go ahead and complete the quiz, and I'm going, I'm going to put the, um, the answers to the quiz in the directions below. So go ahead and check your answers after you've completed the quiz. So 
How did you do? Um, let me know how you did. Comment in the, um, or write it in the comments below. Also, are there any topics you would like to learn more about? Write them in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching my video and be sure to subscribe to my channel.